Hey, what's up guys it's Mackie Galax here and now I'm here to show you how you can use the Chrome to phone extension to send information from your desktop to your phone so things that you can send would be highlighted texts phone numbers uh, YouTube videos or even maps directions so to get started off let's go ahead to the um, Chrome web store so what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna install this uh, plugin both on your desktop. Um, in this case, I'm using Chrome browser. Apparently, there is a plugin for Firefox too, but I'm just going to use um, Chrome browser here as an example. So you're going to search for Chrome to phone. You're going to need to install this on your phone as well, and I'll show you how to do that in a while. So I have Chrome to phone extension here. Click Add, and a little icon pops up here to show that I've added Chrome to phone on my desktop. So I'll go ahead and click on that and sign in to Chrome to phone. So it's going to prompt me to sign in. I'll just type in my login information here and click grant access. So you will have access to my phone. Now, important thing to note is that you need to be signed into this same account on your Android phone as well. So it'll take you to this page and shows you some of the cool stuff that you can do with it. I'm just gonna close it out first. And now I'm gonna head over to my phone, click on the web uh, play store and search for Chrome to phone, which I have up here. Hit Chrome to phone and go ahead and install it. Right there. So it's just downloading it now installing so once you're done open it up and you'll be given a chance now to associate it with um, the correct Gmail account you're gonna want to have to uh, you're gonna have to associate it with the same account that you associated it with on Chrome browser on the desktop so click next um, choose your account in this case I'm just gonna choose that first one right there Go ahead and hit next. And you can either choose to let you launch links manually um, or automatically. Right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and let it launch links automatically. Hit next, and I'm done. Hit finish. Okay, so you can come back here and browse the history of things that were sent to your phone from your desktop. So I'm gonna come back out to um, the home page here on the phone and head over to the desktop now say I'm looking for a nice restaurant to go out to today um, quite fancy going to an Italian restaurant so I look up Delfina's and um, you know I, I, I want to have this web page on my phone so I can read the reviews um, on the way there. So I'll hit this button here, Chrome to phone, and what it will do is it will launch the browser in a second. There you, there you go. So launch the browser and bring me to the same web page that I was browsing uh, right now on the desktop, albeit so of course brings up the mobile version because I have a mobile browser here. Okay, so that's one thing you can do. Another thing you can another cool thing you can do is to send map directions. So say I'm back on my desktop, maps.google.com and um so I search for again, you know, Italian restaurant but a different one this time. And I want to get directions here, so I'm just going to go directions to here from um, some place. Okay, so it's giving giving me directions here, and I'm going to hit. So before I do that, uh, one thing I should mention is you should always be back out on um, your homepage here without any apps open on the phone otherwise this isn't going to work so back on the desktop I'm going to hit Chrome to phone it should now send 
the maps to my phone. Now, as you can see, a pop-up has appeared, prompting me to choose the application with which I wish to open the maps. And of course, I like to open in maps, so I'm just gonna allow it to open in maps always. And so it's given me the driving directions to that restaurant, right? So that's pretty cool. Um, let's pop back out here and let's see what we can do with YouTube. So here we YouTube and say go to Google's page. And I hope this is public domain. So I'll hit Chrome the phone again. And in a second, you'll see it popping up in YouTube. Right, so it's pretty cool. So another cool thing you can do is send phone numbers. So say I head over to the Italian restaurant and I want to find out what their opening hours are. Let me just head back out on the phone here and say I want to give them a call All right see what's special tonight so I'll highlight the phone number right click it and click Chrome to phone what will happen is it will open up the um, phone app with the phone number as you can see here ready for me to dial so I can just hit dial and it will dial that phone number All right so that's pretty useful and one other thing you can do is like let's go to Play Store here and okay agent dash well I know one of them free games I'm not a game guy but okay so let's say I want to open this up on my phone so head back out here and hit Chrome to phone and it should open up prompt asking me oops that didn't work let's try it again Chrome to phone sent to phone okay, so we'll open that up in the Play Store um, ready for me to install it or bring it with me read some reviews and decide whether or not I like to um, do it and so there are other things you can do. Another example is say, you know, just for fun, I'm, I, I want to save this this text right here, All right? So I'm gonna right click it and send Chrome to phone. Oops, let me pop back out here and just say Chrome to phone, and it will take me back to this same page that I was at but one cool thing is that it's already saved that text that I highlighted to the clipboard on my phone so if I head over to um, a notepad of sorts and hit paste you can see the same text that I had selected uh, from the uh, browser now on my clipboard which I've just pasted into Evernote and I'll, uh, I'll delete that in a minute but yeah, so that's, those are some of the things that you can do with Chrome to phone. You can also send Google Plus um, profiles or posts. It will open them up automatically in Google Plus. Um, you can you know, send SMSs if, if there's an SMS protocol in the uh, web address bar. It will open that up in SMS. Some of the things I tried to do, but that didn't seem to work was to send music uh, over to um, the phone. So if I'm listening to music using Google Music on my desktop, it doesn't seem to open that up in the Google Music application. So um, give, it, give it a shot and uh, let us know what works for you and what didn't down in the comments below. And if this was helpful, please subscribe and like. It's gonna help us out a lot. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.